Hey everyone, it's Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere. Today, I want to show you how to use Canva rulers and guidelines in your designs. What you see here is the beginnings of a planner. And you see that I have already started the design and I start on January. To create the next page, of course, I can very easily duplicate this. See, this is page two now. I'm just going to put February here so that I know what page I'm working on. And I'll just replace this. And I'll make this February. All right, so now I have this February design. Right, so everything is exactly where the other page is. So if I take a look on the grid view, you know, everything is aligned perfectly. Now, that's fine and dandy. But what happens if you're working on this and you're adding other stuff and all of a sudden you maybe you bump this out of the way. <laughs> now, what do you do? You don't exactly know you know, so you can kind of eyeball it, but it may be a little bit off. So how do you make sure that it's exactly the same spot where it was? For that, I'm going to use guidelines. Now, I already have shown my rulers, but if you haven't, all you need to do is go to file and view settings. And now you see show rulers and guidelines. So if I click it again, you will see that it's gone. So if your screen looks like this, means you don't have it turned on. You go to file, view settings, show rulers and guides, and now you see it up here. To add guidelines, there are several ways. You can go back to file, view settings, and add guides. Or you can simply drag from up here, and then now it will just snap into place right here. Or, let me remove this. Another way is to right click, click on guides, and then add horizontal or vertical. In this case, I want a horizontal guide. And now that the guide's added, I just pay, put it exactly right there. So this, is, this marks the exact line here. Now, I just need to scroll down to the second page, and you see it's automatically put on here. So now I just what I need to do is just make sure it snaps up to the top here. And when I create another page, you would see that this guideline stays the same exactly where I want it to be. And this way, I know that my calendars will start on the very same spot, which is what is this it actually shows me um, two inches, a little over two inches from the very top of the page. And that's basically how you use guidelines in your rulers. Now, of course, you could do horizontal too, if you, and it works the same way. So I hope this has been useful for you, if it has. And if you enjoyed this video, please help me out. Uh, click on like for this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel before you leave. I appreciate you so much. You have a fantastic week.